Let's take a quick look at the interface of VocalSynth 2. It's quite different now. Here you can enter a name for the instance of VocalSynth for inter-plugin communication capabilities, like with Neutron. VocalSynth can be run in three different modes now, Auto mode, MIDI, and Sidechain mode. We will explore all these modes in this course. Here you can open the preset browser. There are presets specifically for Auto mode and for MIDI mode. You can navigate through presets with these Next and Previous buttons. Global options here, we will revisit this later. Clicking here will open the browser base manual for VocalSynth 2. Let's look at the main interface now. So now you get five different vocal processing engines. You can turn them on or off individually by clicking here. This middle section shows this cool anemone visualizer, which visualizes each of the five modules. They're all color coded and you can click and drag on each of these stems to control the level of each engine. So yes, you can run multiple vocal engines simultaneously. Now within each engine, you get advanced controls, which can be opened by clicking here. There are presets for the controls in this section. You can access the presets even when the advanced controls are hidden. As I said, each engine has advanced controls and a lot of them are quite similar. We will dive deeper into all this later on. On the left here, we have the pitch control, dry level slider, pitch correction options. There's also a voicing tab to set up additional voices which will be fed to each of the five engines. So if I bring up these sliders, we now have three voices that will be fed to the different vocal synth engines. There's a master dry word slider here, and some more master controls. There's an XY control section. This can be handy for creating modulation or automating two parameters simultaneously. You can see those parameters here in the X and Y dropdown. And lastly, in the bottom here, we have the effects section. You get seven different effects with independent controls. You can choose to turn them on and off individually. You can also change the order of processing by simply dragging and reordering. The signal flows from left to right. Cool, so that's a quick look at the interface. Hopefully you have a basic idea of how the plugin can be used. Now in the next few tutorials, let's dive deeper and get to know this processor better.